We all want to improve our lives and it's just part of human nature. But the process of creating habits can be difficult. Now we've been told that it takes 21 days to build a habit. I've heard a 60 plus, I've heard a 90, but all of that is not necessarily true. It takes however long it takes for you to establish a habit. Sometimes people get it really quick and other people it takes a lot longer. You have to commit a whole lot of time and effort to change your habits, and it might take you years. I've gone on to where I've done something repeatedly for years, and then just in a few days, I lost the habit, and then I had to reestablish myself. So the real answer is however long it takes for you to establish a habit so that when you stop doing it or when you fall off, it feels strange and weird to you and you wanna go right back on. Kinda like brushing your teeth. If you left the house without brushing your teeth, you would feel kinda weird and strange strange and you know that you wouldn't function properly without that habit you'd always be mindful and that's what you want to get to and sometimes when you finally see changes you might slip along the way and go back doing the bad habit because you just got lazy or it felt better to you to do what was a bad habit to begin with or it felt comfortable to you so if you want to have a better future for yourself you need to stop going backward it's okay to miss something here and there but you want to get into consistently practicing again and again until you get that habit ingrained as part of your daily routine so let me share with you my tips on how how you can stick to your habits even when you get lazy or uncomfortable. Hi, my name is Muneef. I'm a tried and tested multiple brick and mortar business owner. I have closed billions of dollars of sales over the last 25 years. I started this YouTube channel so that I can help more people achieve financial freedom and success. So let's get it started. If you want to build a habit, you should start with something small. I'm a firm believer in incremental change. Now, I always tell this to even employees that anyone trying to make a change in their lives, it's easier said than done when you become accustomed to a habit, good or bad, for years. And that's usually the case of what makes you lazy because you want to choose something that's already become easier or comfortable rather than doing something that you're unfamiliar with. For example, you might be used to eating a big dinner, for example, or not exercising. It takes you a long time to reestablish a good habit like, you know what, I'm gonna eat dinner earlier. It's gonna take you a little bit of discomfort to know, or maybe you'll even feel hungrier towards the latter part of your day. Let's say it's establishing a workout habit. It's just easier for you to lounge around and watch Netflix just like everybody else. But now you wanna incorporate movement. You wanna get out and go to the gym. You wanna start to work out. It's gonna take you a little bit of time to break that old habit, because that old habit just felt good. It felt right. It felt weird to start something else. Conversely, let's say you're working out a couple hours Hours each day and you're used to this habit to break that habit and then go and sit on a couch and munch on potato tips is going to just take you a bit of time even though it's easier one is easier than the other once you've established a routine and becomes a part of the way you live your life it's just easier to maintain and stay an object at motion continues to stay in motion and you know the rest one way to fight off laziness is to make these small incremental changes Something I read in, in one of my favorite books, Atomic Habits by James Clear, in the book James stated that you only need to make incremental changes to see big drastic outcomes, hence the name Atomic Habits. One of the tips that he discussed is that the habits that you're building can be broken down into a two minute rule. For example, if you're having a hard time finishing a book, then just at least read one page or at least two minutes or that one hour workout that you always hate, start with something really light, just two minutes, and then increase it incrementally. You know, maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. The same thing goes for journaling, from writing for just two minutes, increase the number to five, and once you feel like you can up that number, go ahead and do so. I've been journaling for years, but I recently told someone to start journaling and they were having a really hard time starting out. And I said, just write a paragraph about how you feel or how your day went or what you plan to do. And slowly it just starts to become a habit. A lot of people start out really big, like I wanna work out, so let me just go to the gym and work out for two hours. Well, you're gonna be tired and sore the next day and it's just not scalable. You won't feel like working out for two hours the next day because you've already expended all your mental and physical energy. So definitely start out small and make changes over a longer period of time. 
The idea is to make the habits build on each other and make it as doable as possible when you're starting to establish a new habit. You might think that's not the way to go, but building over time will make it more consistent. And then making those microscopic changes over a long period of time, you resist the urge of being lazy and uncomfortable because it takes almost next to nothing to make the effort. And it becomes harder to make the excuses on one particular thing because it's just too hard to do. Who can't spare a two minute workout? And now that it's become easy, you're more than likely to continue to do it. And it becomes easy to process and then easy to continue you to repeat the same actions and all you have to do is to stay consistent even in these small doses I kind of have this personality where I'll go ham on anything I'll just go really hard in the beginning and I've kind of had to fight over the years of just going really too hard in the beginning and for years I kind of been wanting to work out here and there and I would I would wait for the perfect day of the week to come back along and Mondays and all this and how I really started I've been work, I've been doing it for years now how I really started was I just started out with doing a few push-ups a day and then built up to the point where I consistently seven days a week do around 200 push-ups now that's a huge number for a lot of people to swallow but I built it over time and going back to my military days where I was doing this routinely and now I'm building up from that 200 number and moving on same thing I did with chin-ups you know I'll add more and I'll add a few more and I add a few more and my body has gotten used to it now if I started doing 200 push-ups on day one of my habit I'd probably be burnt out by now we hear this all the time that you need 21 days to form a new habit I think that it takes way more than 21 days. According to a lot of studies, it takes around 66 days before a repeated action becomes a habit. And it can be as early as 18 days or as long as almost a year at 254 days. The average is 66. And I found that certain habits, when it's really hard to establish, takes me even longer. You can't really tell how long it will take for you to see these changes. So I suggest you don't have a number in mind. As long as you take the time until you don't even notice that you're doing this repeatedly and it's established and it's become a habit to you. What matters is that you see small changes over a period of time, whether it's 21, 66, 254, or years before you get this done until it becomes second nature to you. For example, my eating habits are pretty extreme and I'm pretty much low carb. And once in a while, I'll start to break down and eat something sweet. And then I might go a couple of days eating some fruits or something like that in the middle of it because it just feels good. And then I have to bounce back and reestablish these habits. So even though I've been doing it for years, it's just easier when something is appealing like a sugary snack or some fruit that I'd love to eat before. So, you know, right now, just this week, I kind of broke down and ate a few more pieces of fruit than I would have liked to. And there was an impact on my weight, right? away and so you know what I'm human you break down a little bit now starting today I cut down on the carbs again so get in the habit of understanding the way your mind works what things are easier what things are harder breaking habits are actually harder than starting new ones and sometimes the reason why you can't stick to a new habit is that you're currently stuck on the bad one or the most common one because you've become lazy or unmotivated along the way and so it takes a lot of effort to break a bad habit and that's why you should give yourself a bit of a break here and there and then reapply incremental changes to remove them. But if you want to have an easier time building habits, you can always set up your environment to make it easier. For example, I know, just like my previous example, I know I don't do well. I love certain types of fruit and it's just part of my nature, so I don't have it readily available for me. And I just feel like if my environment doesn't have those temptations around, it's just easier for me to maintain my habit of eating low carbs. It's funny, in the military, we had drill sergeants who yelled it right up in your face and in your ears to make you move and instill certain habits they wanted to drill in us. But alone, you don't have a drill sergeant to tell you what to do. You have to have the motivation, and that's why you need to make it easier for yourself. For example, let's say before you can enter the mess hall or the cafeteria, you had to do five chin-ups or pull-ups before you went in, you can easily reenact this by every time you're gonna go and eat something, do a few pull-ups or a few push-ups or whatever is going to help you. So tying in different habits to establish good ones is a great way. For example, before I go on my walks every morning, I'll go ahead and do 50 to 55 push-ups before I go ahead and do it. It's now stacked onto habits and now I know that to be able to go and enjoy my walk, I have to do these push-ups. Or you can set an alarm for yourself that tells you to stand up at specific times if you want more stand-up times during the particular week or if you want to go to sleep at a specific time set an alarm 
alarm that tells you it's time for bed. Doing these little things will help you tweak it so that it's just easier for you to establish these habits. So again, by changing your environment around you and mixing your habits around and even stacking them, it becomes easier for you to adjust and then help your body and mind achieve the habits that you're trying to apply. A lot of people think I'm super disciplined in all areas of my life. I'm not. I'm really just disciplined in the areas of my life that I want to focus on, whether it's business or health or whatever. Then I put all of my time and effort into established habits that count. You can't be disciplined in all areas of your life. You can be disciplined in the areas of your life that are important to you, whether it's health and fitness, whether it's family, whether it's work, pick a few areas of your life that you really want to achieve and change your habits in and then start to focus in on that. Now, I just want to say that you're on the right track to achieving your productivity goals, your financial goals. And if you want to learn more, my team and I put together a free book. And by watching my videos and reading my books, whether it's on personal finance or establishing habits, you'll get to your goals in no time at all. A lot of us nowadays work from home or use technology to work and that can often lead to slacking a bit where you are being pulled by your notifications to look at social media or you start playing video games or watching Netflix. But instead of working against you, you can also use technology to fight off laziness and a lack of motivation. You can use apps like Blocksite to avoid distracting apps for you when you need to study or work. For example, if you want to fight off the urge to use TikTok or IG Reels before you work, you can actually set up your computer to immediately open your work apps so that you avoid the trivial apps that gain your attention and help you to waste time. In that way, you can immediately set up your brain to remember that you're actually in work mode. This is what we call the first step in building habits. This could be preparing your shoes before you go running or having your gym clothes and your gym bag ready at the head of the bed or near the doorway or placing a glass of water where you're going to spend the most amount of time because you want to drink more water. And also what really works for me is to make a to-do list the night before I start my new day. A lot of people make a to-do list early in the morning or in the first part of their day. I like to make it in the evening before I go to sleep so that I already know what to do when I wake up in the morning. Now you have multiple ways to establish habit. Sometimes, let's say you can't run in the morning, but you still have the shoes prepared, so you decide to run in the afternoon. I want you to try to get out of that perfection mode when establishing a habit. In each habit, you're just building various entry points where you can take initiative to work on that particular habit. It doesn't have to be perfect. A lot of times people get caught up in this whole perfection thing. It has to be this time, it has to be that time. But when you're establishing a habit, be a little bit forgiving. You can make little changes here and there to environment, set it up so that you're more successful. But just think in the long run, remember the benefits of why you're trying to establish your new habit in the first place. And that might be enough to motivate you to stay and keep working on this particular habit. Like I was taking you back about my habit of working out, it would take me a great deal of time to where I started to fail because I was waiting for the right moment and the right time. Once I got out of that scenario and just said, I have to do a workout X amount of days a week, and sometimes it was 10 minutes this way or 10 minutes that way, I started to work on just establishing that habit. And in the long run, I was able to do it based on moving aside that perfection issue. It's hard to fight off all the different issues when establishing a habit, and frequently you'll find yourself in a dilemma here and there, whether it's time or the right mindset. But if you look at why you're trying to establish the habit in the first place, it'll keep you motivated on trying to achieve that. So you'll work through different methods here and there, but finally, one day you'll wake up and you're already doing it by second nature. Remember, it's important that you start a habit and it's even more important that you have consistency over a long period of time. Eventually, you get enough momentum behind you where you start to see the changes in your personality, in your lifestyle. Remember that it starts off as a small habit and then it becomes a routine and then a series of routines actually becomes a way of life. I want you to start one more habit and that's hit that like and subscribe button every time you're watching one of these videos. This will definitely help our channel grow because I intend to continue to give you great value. And thank you for watching. And if you wanna learn more about habits itself, learn how to break a bad habit in this particular video, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg.